Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the XBLA Fans Channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Islanders, a puzzle game that I have been enjoying a lot. Uh, it has two game modes, a sandbox mode, which is what you think it is. You get all the stuff that you could want to build and a high score mode that actually has you progressing from island to island. So the way this sort of works is uh, you get this little pack of buildings that you place down on the island and you get points for them. Uh, Let's actually go in and grab our pack here. Uh, let's go with the farming pack. It's a really good example here. So as you can see on the bottom left there, I have a score. If I get to 20 points, I actually get another pack. Those points then also feed into that meter on the bottom right. When it fills up, I can actually move on to the next island if I want to, or I can kind of just stick around this island. But uh, if you will kind of look at the upper right there, I have a field. Uh, the base score it gives me is three, which is also uh, dictated, uh, shown off at the bottom left there with that little yellow chunk. But if it is next to a mill, it gets an extra five points. If it's next to a statue, it's another five points. If it's next to a plateau, plateau or resort or field, they get extra points as well. So it is in my best interest to do put those two together. And then as you can see, this mill not only gets the four or the eight points from the, uh, from the uh, two fields, but five points from the statue and then the additional eight points that it already gets when you're... Uh, Hold on, see if I can't find uh, the additional eight points for it that it gets just from being a mill. And if you keep an eye on the bottom right, you'll see it kind of meter kind of build up. So let's go with this lumber. Which uh, there's not terribly a lot of trees here, but if we kind of place him here and we got some extra fields, you're not only getting going to get like the, uh, the items in the pack. You'll also get some other stuff that you uh, can place around. And those are, uh, from what I've seen, always things that you previously picked. So I wouldn't get like a fishing item if I've never like purchased a fishing item before, From at least from what I've seen. Actually, the fishing place is really good. So we're going to get this city pack and we're going to, we're going to be build a beach city. Put you, so actually, this is actually real smart to place kind of in the middle because these manors or mansions like to be right next to it. And if they're touching or within that very limited uh, area, we can do that. Okay, so this is perfect. So as you can see here, this city center is going to get a giant negative from that uh, other city center. So what I kind of want to do is put you over here. And then I can kind of put like a little house here as well if I want to. And then we can get another thing. Uh, the shaman is interesting uh, because he gets bonuses from plants and stuff like that, but he does not like to be near the city. So right here might actually be a really good spot for him. Or I saw a 26 there for a second. There we go. So I've already unlocked the next island, but so yeah, that's like the very the very first island is always very easy. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. And these islands do seem randomly picked from a sort of a collection of them, but I think that the uh, little statue can be randomly placed. So uh, I have three hundred and ten points. That would be higher if I kept playing on the other island, but the amount needed to get to the next tier would always be the same. I believe it's twenty. So let's go with this. So I can't really move back around, but I think I don't see the tower, which the farming pack's usually a good one to kind of start with. I don't see a tower on this one or a statue. That's fine. We should be fine anyways. There we go. Uh, so the lumber pack is still here and then we have the brewing pack. Let's go with that lumber pack. And then we'll place you down right here. You down there. And you right here. Oh, I got one more. Wow. They really load me up with these, uh, oops. Actually, this is probably be a lot better. Oops. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Uh, tuck this little sawmill into the corner. 
brewing pack is essentially just like the mill. I really like the city because of this uh this uh big old base here you can get. And then you can kind of snuggle stuff up to it as you want. So of course, people in mansions want to live next to other people in mansions. I could be doing a lot better uh, setting this stuff down. Oh, here's a mason. So mason or masons can only be on rocks. But if they were near like a wall, a temple or something like that, it'd be getting more. I think if I can kind of gently, actually there's a whole bunch of uh, rocks right here. So this is perfect. How about we put you all the way up here? Oh, come on. Come on. Perfect. That's a big old commute to get to work there. Actually, a lot of the uh, these manors or uh, mansions are often uh, shaped like uh, Tetris pieces and stick up, stick to each other very, very nicely. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, I'm very much enjoying this game. Ooh, a shaman. The biggest one I've probably had was like 56 points. How about over here? Does anyone want to? No, no one wants to be all the way over there by themselves. Let's drop in this 24 points. So later on, like I haven't gotten any yet, but you can get like fountains and parks and stuff like that. Put you right there. There's the fisher. So I can try to. It's probably the best I'm going to get from that. Another shaman. I saw a 21. I know I did. Oh, right here. Perfect. Another house. Got a 13 in there. I'm actually almost done with this level. I might be able to show you off the, the show you the third level. Oop, come on. I really like it when they kind of uh fit exactly in the perfect place. Put you over there. Oh, look at that, the fountain. So this actually should get us a chunk of points if I kind of figure out the perfect place for it. Right there, perfect. Everyone can see that fountain. Okay, so even though I have that fissure right over there, I can place another one right there and benefit that way. And then there's a city center here, but there is a shaman there, but... Can I? Oh, that's actually right there. Perfect. And now I can just put in more mansions over here. And I've unlocked the next island. So I've gotten about four or five into it, and then it starts to get a bit more difficult. Not and uh, it even gave me a ability to place down those uh, statues, and it didn't really help me. Ooh, look. So in an area like this, see all this sand and stuff like that. You can't build uh, the the uh, like the mills and stuff like that. These uh, hold on, perfect. These uh, brickyards and uh, masons, or not brick uh, masons. Uh, these uh, s these quarry-looking things are usually your best bet. That's perfect, actually. And then we can probably put another one right here. That's a sand pit. Makes sense. It's way too close to everything else. Brickyard, can I? Perfect, there we go. Oh, 
always end up heavily relying on the city for uh, points. So once you start getting these uh these uh these like normal houses, huts, and stuff like that going, uh, you can really build up the points when you add like fountains and parks and stuff like that. Or markets and stuff are also really great. But yeah, that's about it. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's a little fun little photo mode that you can kind of go into. Uh, if you have any questions, ask down below in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.